Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I'm going to talk about gear, specifically an Olympus camera. So this is the mighty and the very valuable Olympus OM3, which is a treat to me because a friend of mine I've known for years used to work at a newspaper, used to work at weekly newspapers back in the day. I didn't know him then. And he said, hey, you know, I got this old camera that's been sitting around. You're welcome to it. I'll just bring it to you one of these days. And then one day he shows up and it's an Olympus OM3, which if you're not familiar, they made the OM1, which was a legendary smallish camera, the great finder, great viewfinder, all mechanical, didn't need a battery except for the meter. The, F, the uh, OM2, which succeeded it, which had some automatic modes, and then the OM3, which had spot metering, and the OM4, which had spot metering, but the difference was the OM4 was completely battery dependent, and this one is not. And they didn't sell very many of these. And so this is like a cult camera. People are like, oh, all over the internet and paying huge numbers for this. And I put a raw of HP5 in it. The battery died in it that I put in it, so I'm not sure if it's draining the battery or if it was a weak battery when I put it in, but I just use it with Sunny 16. You know, my rule of thumb for any kind of black and white film camera is I can guess exposure with Sunny 16 and inside shoot wide open as slow as you dare. That's kind of like my rule of thumb. So if it's really a kind of a bright living room, I probably can get away with a 60 at 1.4 with this camera with 400 speed film. If it looks really dim, I'll shoot a 30th at 1.4. If they're moving, I won't go below that because it'll blur. But if they're standing still and I can get them to pose, if I need the, a pose photo, you can hold a camera at a 30th of a second at 1.4 if you do this. But you can't, you know, people I see shooting digital cameras, they're always out here with this. This is the way you shoot a camera. You brace it against yourself and you shoot. And you hold steady. You make a brace with your elbows against your body. But the OM3 has spot metering plus a regular, regular center meter, center weight metering. It's got really not too many bells and whistles. The beauty of it is it's got high technology, but it's all mechanical and it's kind of a desirable body. But like I said, this one's all brassed and beat because he used this. This was a user camera. He didn't buy this to collect it. He used this to use it for the newspaper he worked for and it was kind of unwanted at some point and he gave it to me and it's one of those cameras I enjoy taking out and just adding you know another experience of shooting a camera that is really a well-made beautiful camera and it doesn't let you down because it's one of those cameras that has without any need for a battery it'll all keep shooting so I love that about it. I have a 51.4 on it. These Lenses are readily available, cameras are readily available, but the prices, if they're in mint condition, have really gone up on the OM3s. But I like the OM3, it's a beautiful little camera, and I really appreciate my friend who gave it to me. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button, and we'll talk photography again tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching.